All right, everybody. I'm BJ from the 478. I greatly appreciate you tuning into my channel. And today I want to show you exactly what I got going on with my 2021 Ducati V4S. Um, I'm pretty much tired of looking at it the same way. Um, I'm going to take it all apart and I'll show you exactly what to do and what bolts you need to take off. I'm going to go ahead and get this gas tank off of here. Um, I'm stripping the whole bike down. I'm going to go back. Um, I'm, I'm, I love this exhaust, um, but I'm going back with my 4U CD until my new exhaust is on the way. Reason of being, I, I can't, this is a world superbike exhaust and I can't get in between and tune this because I don't have the lambdas. Um, you can tune this bike per cylinder. Um, you know, each O2 sensor, you got more up front. You can you can really do a lot with this race exhaust and I'm not using it to my full capabilities. And so I'm just probably gonna take it off and sell it. Anybody want it, reach out to me. Um, it is full titanium. And if you know anything about this exhaust, this exhaust was like 8,500 bucks. So you can get it at a good price. Just reach out to me. Um, man, I will put it in the mail. Um, I am gonna take it all apart today and um, I'll get these headers up here. But for right now, what I wanna show you is how to disassemble this bike, lickety split, get the subframe off, cause this is a complete carbon fiber subframe as well. Um, and I'll get the gas tank out. First of all, I, I, every time I ride this bike or ride my, my other bikes, anytime I ride a bike, when I come back home, I'm always gonna fill this thing up. So I got a full damn tank of gas and we're gonna pump that out of there as well. Stay tuned, let's get to it. Oh, where is it? All right, so go ahead and pull this out. Hear that? Now, when I take these carbon fiber pieces off, I am gonna get them out there to the paint shop and we are gonna change the color on this some gun too. So, I got a lot of things going on with this bike. I'm gonna get a lot of stuff powder coated. And um, I want another bike, I want a new bike, uh, but I want to finish getting this bike like I want, want it before I turn around and invest a lot of money and another bike, and I got tons of money tied up in this one. So, these are all titanium bolts on this bike as well, people. I spared no expense. I have the Super Legera wings. These are the tops. I took the lowers off because I, when we was going to the Tail of the Dragon, I misplaced the bolt somewhere, and I decided I would rather not risk the biscuit and turn around and put them on, and they come off. Those things was 1300 bucks and I wasn't gonna lose not one of them. So let's go ahead and take this apart and see how it goes. Yeah, um, i tell you what, before I break this thing down, I know y'all itching to hear what it sounds like. And if you're willing to buy it and you wanna purchase this from me, at least you know what you're gonna get. Now I do have two sets of race cans. I have this set and I also have the smaller black titanium race cans and they are loud as, you know, but I'll get out, but let's check it out.
that I pissed off a couple of my neighbors just then. But as you can see, like I said, I'm gonna put my 4 u CD back on it. Um, it my four, this bike was actually tuned and I got a brand tuned stage two on this bike and it was actually tuned for the 4 u CD and it's not tuned for this, you know what I'm saying, this D195. And this is not just the regular titanium exhaust. This is the full race version of the exhaust. And I bought it from um, Superbike Unlimited. I got it from one of Freddy's main motorcycles. So if you look on his page, you can actually see um, uh, what I'm talking about. And they were running these type of exhausts on their, you know what I'm saying, on their V4R. I just don't have the, the proper um, tuning for this motorcycle. And I reached out to more mafia to actually tune this bike. And he was like, sorry, no bueno, no good. I can't do anything for it. So I decided to take my ZX-10. This is a 21 model. And I decided to take my ZX-10 down there and let um, Chris down at More Mafia um, uh, handle the tune on this. And this thing right here spits flames. I'm pretty much satisfied with this exhaust on this bike. Um, it, it sounds amazing. I'm, I'm telling you, it, it just, it does what it does. It spits flames. It does all this crazy sounds and it's fast. Let's put it like that. And um, right here, this new GoPro um, uh, Mini 11 Black, the Hero, this one right here is, um, doesn't have a battery in it. It actually holds, um, is built in and you can charge it from the side. And this is kind of, kind of tiny and I like it. And also it comes with two different mounting points. So, you know, we can catch all these different angles and especially when we're just riding. A lot of times we're riding, we're not racing. Um, you can check out my buddy, his, his page is uh, always on two wheels. Um, he does a lot of, a lot of back corners and stuff like that. So check him out, like, and subscribe to his channel and we're gonna support each other. I do have a new channel coming up. It's called Backyard Bobby and we'll be doing some motorcycle, you know what I'm saying? Catching some of the curves and stuff like that and probably get some pulls going on. But this uh, uh, new 360 Max, it'll catch you on the front and the back or we can do it, you know what I'm saying? Do the 360 version or put it on the back or whatnot. But we'll do more footage on that bike a little bit later on. But we're gonna focus on this motorcycle and let's go ahead and break it down. Okay, uh, so let me go ahead and jack this bike up. You see these marks here? It's where the fairings actually touch the, the carbon fiber pieces here. So let me show you how to take care of that. So 
little bit of this. something new every day. <laughs> mm. And what that does is it's got a it's got a, a penetrating oil in there that actually just um get fills that back down in that crack um where the little scrapes are and it just it just colorizes it back up and moisturizes it and bam you never know it's scratch. Now, when I send this off, um, the same guy that, that uh, did the tank for me, I'm, I'm gonna strip it back down and um, I'm gonna leave this tank like it is. We stripped this tank down, it, it was the Ducati Red. Um, we stripped it down and then it, we, we hand sanded it, brushed it. But what I'm thinking about doing is, um, I may sand it back down again and just do some, some designs in it, something a little different. Uh, I know I'm doing my ZX10 like that once I get done with this, but I may send it to somebody and let them do some do some art and, and designs inside that uh, inside that that tank, and then we'll re-clear it. I just want to do something different. Let's put it there. So as you can see, um, I spared no expense on this bike, man. I went through. You got H2O radiator, um, also. I was able to move my my overflow canister down at the bottom, which so good. It? it served its purpose. You couldn't even tell it was on there. Um, I think I'm gonna take this radiator off and put my my um, block off plates. Uh, I put some block off plates on here. Um, only thing about block off plates they help you um, with a better throttle response. That is true, but I also, I want this thing to pop and bang, and I also lost a lot of my pops and my bangs. And so I'm putting the actual factory um, uh, valve, the block out plate pieces back on here. And once I get this tank off, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about and we we'll go from there. Also have um, a full Ducati V4. It's the carbon fiber edition um, race seat. It's, it's a great seat. It's a little bit much for me because I don't do a lot of race on this bike. I, I do a lot of I do a lot of pulls, maybe highway pulls and stuff like that. But we do a lot of cornering in the in the backwoods and stuff like that, and we will hit some backwoods in it. And I swear, this right here was cool but i felt a little more comfortable with my factory seat um uh, i got a louis moto um seat cover on there and it feels a whole lot better and it just not saying that race seat is bad but it's just to each its own i felt more comfortable on this bike with the actual um uh factory seat with my seat cover on there but, but long story short it fits the bill you know it um 
It definitely looks good. Anybody want that thing, man? That's probably that's a three hundred fifty dollars seat. Um, make me an offer, and we'll go from there. Presumo gas cap. Awesome. Awesome piece. So what I'm about to do right now, I'm gonna go ahead and take all the gas, as much gas as possible, out of this tank. And uh, that way it won't make such a mess. Because like I said, it's a full tank of gas. I didn't realize it didn't catch. And then, uh, you know, all you have to do is just put some pressure on this thing. And once you once you pull up the gas and put pressure on this, this piece right here, you can actually just um, release it and it'll, all the gas will come out. Once you put enough suction on it. How's it going? This is a neat piece. I want to say it's eleven dollars at Harbor Freight, and uh, if that. But man, I I've used it several times. I actually misplaced them a lot, and a lot of times I use them and then I just discard them because they smell kind of bad. I don't want to use, but. Now the funny thing is, you know, on the V4s, the gas tank goes all the way underneath the, the back of the bike. 
There we go. Get as much gas out of it as you possibly can. Um, that's just going to save you from spilling it on the long run. Um, probably got about like a half a gallon left in here somewhere because it, it goes all the way back up in here and it actually goes in the chambers and stuff like that. This gas tank is real, real complex and it's real kind of neat. Like I said, you'll see exactly what it looks like. Um, once I take it off and um, actually how easy it is going to be to remove it There's Just a couple techniques you're going to need to do to, to make sure you don't break anything and um, I'm going to show you that Tell you what these day gone mosquitoes are and these are the full six full carbon fiber fairings and man they they are light as can be that actual you, it, it takes you to hold these and then hold the, the actual um How much weight you save with those? Take this loose. See this bolt right here? And plug that. This doesn't have to come on. You can leave that quick connect there. Um, and then you're just gonna lift up on the back of the tank and uh, undo, undo the fuel pump. Let's go. 
lines here. Thought I disconnected them. Still got about a gallon of gas in here, it'd be fine. So now you see it was down in the bottom. And so I had to, to lift this gas tank up. And once I lift it up to a certain extent, you take your hand under here and that way you can just manipulate this plug. And this is the plug I was telling you about. This is the plug that actually um powers up your fuel pump and let this be unplugged or halfway plugged in it's going to run until all the fuel comes out of the injectors and you're going to be walking <laughs> yeah so um now once i get into this actual subframe i'll be undoing these four screws here and this whole subframe will come out but on this bike right here, the I need to dis disassemble all the wires and all that good stuff, the tail lights, and I'll turn around and undo the mount for the exhaust, and I'll get the subframe out, and then I'll get to those exhaust headers and just go ahead and start dismantling everything like that. Um, This was my my safety tape, which is that test tape. Um, reason why I put it on here is just in case this wanted to come undone, I wouldn't have any brake lights, and I don't want to. I didn't want to make. I don't want to go through that on not having any, and um, turn around and pose a problem in the long run. Someone runs into the rear end of you because you got no gauge on the lights. But the bad thing about it is the only way to get to this plug is because there's no hatch here. All this is one piece. Uh, it's a mono seat. Um, the only way to get to it is to remove the gas tank. And uh, that's a lot of work, people. Let's go and do that. This is actually your, your flash port, which I actually did shoot a U into here so I could get back to that. This bike is Euro 05. So this is what made the, the 2001 a whole lot faster than the 2020. Um, the 21 is Euro 05 and the 20 is not. So they, mo they, ba they both made the same amount of horsepower. It's just this one had more restrictions. So you know what that means. Once you got more restrictions, once you unlock it and they have the same power, this is more restricted, then in theory, it makes more power once you unlock it. Said I was gonna take it apart another day. I'm taking it apart now. Um, I changed my deck on mine so much that, you know, sometimes I'll just, you know, put it back together and ride it and I wanna go ahead and change it. So, we're gonna, we're gonna take this thing apart.
Now both of these plugs are the same. I don't want to unplug them and then come to find out one's, one's rebound and one's compression. I don't want to push around and find out the hard way. So before I take them apart, I'm just going to take a picture of them and uh, plugs up so I know exactly which way they need to be. And I know exactly which slot they can plug back in. If you're not familiar with anything or you think that you may um, forget which what, what plugs into what, just take a picture. Reason being, um, you know, I've, I've, I've adjusted like my quick shifter and stuff like that. And I turn around, I'm like, man, I like it better. You know, um, the, the first way was when it stopped and by me doing all those daggum adjustments, I didn't know what went to what, and it was just a shit show. SX goes to yellow. That way you turn signals. I have an integrated turn signal um, tail light on here, so I don't have any, any um, external tail light no, turn signal. So they're all built into this one piece, and I just make them make sure that I'm a, they both will fit left or right, will fit back in the same one. But the turn signals will be direct opposite. And this goes to the back O2 sensor. If you're thinking, if you don't have one of these bikes and you're thinking about getting one, they are extremely tedious to work on, but man, they are fun as, fun as I don't know what. I, I, I absolutely love mine. Um, I think that the sound of the, the V4 or the V-Twins just like no other. I know the cross-plane motors, I had a R1M. They, I bought, I actually bought the R1M because it had the cross-plane motor in it and it sounded like a V-twin. It had the torque of a V-twin. It's just, I wanted to do Ducati. So I ended up selling that one to a good buddy of mine, Terrell. And uh, I think he still got it. Still a happy camper, I'll tell you that. So let's go ahead and get this exhaust off of here.
composites is awesome, I'm telling you. It sounds phenomenal. Gives you all the power you ever want. At a fraction of the price. Can I hit it with an impact? wants to, but I'm going to go ahead and take this muffler off here. Shit, if I didn't want the damn thing to come off, it'd be on the ground. Pain and ass, and this thing is light. It is very, very light. Very, very complicated design.
Let's get a good look in here. Maybe you can see what I got going on. And people, this this bike is um, the motor is actually frame. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's these are this this is the subframe. This everything attaches to the motor on the bike. So I'm telling you, the design, the engineering, the the thought, and everything, it just comes to play, and it's actually. Actually, actually neat. It just come apart weird, but like I said, this is this is what I know. You know, um, I know this bike like the back of my hand. And really and truly, if I wasn't, I could have been done. Um, it's just a couple of things I want to show people. But man, I could probably take this bike, whole bike apart, gas tank off, and everything within 30 minutes and just make sure I got all my parts. Um, once you take everything apart, just make sure you torque everything back up. Um, the spec, the, even when you take apart the factory bolts, they never seem like they're tight. So you can, the biggest problem is over tightening them and um, having an issue like that. I didn't think it was loose down there. Obviously, it was pretty loose. weird I'm left-handed so yeah let's change hands there we go and um I, like I said I'm changing the exhaust but I don't have to remove the subframe to change this exhaust the only reason why I'm, I'm removing the subframe and all the pieces that's on it is for the simple fact that I'm gonna do a color change I'm going um, to have this thing transparent color with some, some candy paint. And this thing absolutely weighs nothing. I need to, when I get it back, I'll weigh it up. See exactly how much this thing weighs. Don't lose your screws. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go ahead and actually, so I don't lose them, period. Put them back in this motor. See, those are the block off plates that I was telling you about. These right here. And I'm putting the factory back on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do away with it. Actually, it make, it's supposed to make the throttle response a lot crispier, but man, I'm, 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 I, it's a pros and cons to that. And, and one thing is you're going to lose some, some, some sound effects and I want my damn sound effects back. I'm sorry. Indeed. So let me put the other two.
Now rule of thumb, keep it clean sharp. I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and put my stuff back when I get done with it. I'm not, not using it anymore. I'll just go ahead and start putting tools back in their proper spots, um, especially inside my toolbox because Now, I don't know if you want to ask me about the gold reflecting tape, but it actually, it actually is supposed to keep it cooler. I think so. Not sure. But it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this battery too while I'm in here. Yes, sir. I'm in here. No, I mean, no, I'm, I'm at home. Nah, nah, I clean my bike up. I'm at, um, what you got going on? Oh, shoot, that was it? Okay, so I finally got everything taken off that I'm going to do today. And hopefully episode two will come up. To where we're gonna go ahead and disassemble this H2O radiator. We're we'll gonna get all that fluid out of there and I'll um, go ahead and unbolt the actual um, front header and we're gonna go from there. I got everything taken off. Like I said, if anybody wants to purchase this exhaust from me, just leave me a message in the comment section. Um, you, can, you can reach out to me, I'll most definitely get back to you. Um, however, you wanna do it, I can ship it. And like I said, you're going to be getting one hell of a bargain because it's something that I just, I want to move on from. I wanted it so bad. I got it. Now I'm just ready to get the other one that I wanted. And um, I'm like I said, I'm going to put my 4U CD back on it for a second. And then we're going to go from there. But really and truly, I want this thing. I'm probably going to go with something top, full titanium back underneath the bike instead of putting a little more weight on the rear end because I lighten the rear end up um and and with the the subframe but then again i turn around and just put more weight on the back side of the bike when i ran the undertail off so i'm probably going to put everything a little more uniform and tuck everything underneath it um i could go with the sd project or um i'm really looking towards uh the sparks too so um we're going to see how, how about how the availability on that sparks and I know I'm gonna piss my neighbors off with that one, man. That's a full race exhaust as well, but um, who's to say? Stay tuned, um, you check me out later on. Like I said, if you want that exhaust, just uh, send me a comment and we'll go from there. Stay tuned.